Personal opinion, I don't care too much for LeBron James as a person, you know, because I feel like LeBron James was full of shit. You know, he all he he played that woke card to his advantage, and I'm not mad at him. Can't can't knock the hustle, would never knock another man hustle, you feel me? That's how he that's his bread and butter, you feel me? To overcompensate that he will never be the true GOAT. But that's neither here nor there. But getting all that out the way, I'm very objective. I looked at, at things from my objective point of view. I, I exclude my feelings, you know. But I will, but I do respect LeBron James because, and this is why a lot of folks really hate him, because he, he a black man with a whole lot of power that's running one of a multi-billion dollar corporation, you know. Let's just keep it 100. A black man with a whole lot of power. And that kind of, you know, that rub folks the wrong way, you feel me. But uh, I respect that. That's something too very, I mean, that's something that I can admire and achieve to, you, you feel me. Great spokesperson. I mean, he, he played in court the perfect role model, blase, blase, blase. But that don't take away the fact that, I mean, he is full of shit, but you know, you gotta be full of shit to play the game. It is what it is, you know. He ain't let nothing fuck with his money. I can respect that. Same way like Michael Jordan, you feel me? But Jordan went on that woke shit. But anyway, I digress. But yeah, man, you know, so I respect that. You know, he put all his homeboys in a position to be millionaires and, and uh, you know, accumulate wealth for their family. But LeBron James is most by far the greatest father. Man, he, he's an all-time great father. I mean, we all wish that we had a father that was in a position that used his position or, or put himself in a position to give us our dream job where we could come in straight out of high school, you know what he, but anyway, you know, he did one year, but that was bullshit. But to put you or to put us or you as a father to put your son in a position where he become an instant millionaire and to work his dream job, you feel, but to give him that protection and that cliche all around motherfucking world. I ain't talking about your neighborhood. I'm talking about globally. LeBron James put his son in, I mean, in a great position. Dream job. You know, it don't matter if he don't get no playing time. He to be the 12th man on the bench. He put his son in a great position where he could accumulate his own wealth. You know, he ain't got to lean on daddy. You feel me? So... I respect that like a motherfucker. And you, and you all got to respect that. Because if you was a father, that what you want, that was what you would want to do for your sons. You feel me? So, I mean, he got all the respect in the world. I ain't mad at it. I ain't, because he did what a father was supposed to do at the end of the day. And I can respect that. I salute that brother, you know. So, it is what it is, man. Don't get mad at that man for that, you know, you got to either get mad at your, your own father because your father did wasn't in a position, pardon me, wasn't in a position to do that for you. But make sure you're in a position to do that for your son. You know, a lot of times I think folks spend too much time hating and not appreciating and participating or, or find ways on how to do the exact same thing. You know, I ain't talking about NBA status, but hell, man, you put your your kids in a position where they can work their dream job. You feel me? It is what it is, man. You know so. But on that note, man, y'all be smooth, y'all be cool, y'all be mindful and respectful, and I holler back at y'all. Peace.